Yo, what's going on guys? Xtrasify Gaming here, back with another gold making video. Today we are doing another episode of the 30 runs series, where I run a dungeon 30 times in search of transmog items and show you guys the loot from 30 runs. So guys, today we are here at Shadowfane Keep, of course, in Silverpine Forest in the Eastern Kingdoms. And I will be showing the run as well as the items we're looking for and my results after 30 runs. So this dungeon is not exactly the best place in terms of filling up your auction house. It's got a ton of greens, but they're mostly very low value in comparison to other dungeons. So why do people come here? Well, this dungeon is better for more filled out transmog auction houses. If you already have, you know, a thousand plus transmogs and you're looking to diversify a bit or you're just wanting to test your luck at some very, very expensive items with very low drop chances. So I'll show you guys a couple things that we're looking for here. We have the Mind Thrust Bracers is a zone instance drop. Then we have some very expensive items, the Gloom Shroud Armor is a very low chance of dropping. Uh, it sells for around a million. We have Necrology Robes, it sells for like three, four million. These items are such low drop chances. And then of course the Shadow Fang, this item should be lower than this. It should be around like 500,000 on average. Uh, but then you also have like Duskbringer, I don't even think one's on the auction house, but it's another, you know, a uh, million plus item. Uh, that one's a two-handed sword. So, as you can see, it's very, it's very much like uh, Old Man, for example. It's very hit or miss. So, we're gonna go ahead and eat our bear tartar, and then we will head inside. Of course, don't forget to use a bear tartar, as it will make things go quicker, make you go quicker. So make sure you're on normal difficulty. If you're on regular difficulty, this is the zone, or the dungeon that we want um, with the difficulty on normal. You don't want this difficulty on heroic because Cataclysm made a heroic version. So now we kill everything. I like to rush everything and then kill the first boss. Because as you will see, this long roleplay happens and then this door we cannot go out of will not open for like another minute. So I just, you know, check all the loot and everything like that. I come down here. Nothing. That's alright. Yes, yeah, so all of those um, expensive blues that we are looking for can drop from any single mob in this dungeon. So whether it be a boss or a trash drop like this, it can drop from any of them. So, yeah, um, Alliance has this issue with it going so slowly. Um, I've heard the Horde has a much uh, quicker time of this. So I guess uh, if you play Horde, good for you. You don't have to wait too long. As you can see, finally the door opens. So, yes, just kill everything here. Always check for chests. It can have some great items in it. I also like to run in here, kill these steeds as well. And then just check loot. I'm not going to loot in this run because I already have my loot results in the bag. But uh, then we come up here. There, there's many ways of running this. Um, this is probably the most common one. Uh, there can be a chest spawn here, there can be a chest spawn here, and there can also be one right here. There's a lot of chest locations, uh, but you generally get around two. Oh, lagging. <laughs> Sorry. So there can be another chest location right there. I'll run through, kill all these chefs. Be a chest here, there can be a chest right here as well. So then I just sprint on back and 
Then we go up this way, kill all these guys. Also, don't forget, guys, um, if you're watching this within uh, the first day or two of this video being released, I will be live streaming on July 25th at around 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time right here on my YouTube channel. So if you want to pop and say hi, uh, I'd love to uh, to see you guys there. A little shameless promotion as we continue through this dungeon. Now with these gargoyles, you just want to stand close to them and then they will kind of come to life, as you can see. And then just uh, swipe them down. But there we are. We have another chest here. And nothing. <laughs> but yeah, um, with this dungeon, if you don't really get any uh, blue items, you're not really doing too hot. Um, as far as just, you know, regular green drops, it's not going to be great. So then we just double check everything. There can be another chest right here, as well as the one that we saw right up there. But um, that's that's the run, and then I just like to run back out, go back up here, and essentially jump over the roof. So just like this, and then we are right at the entrance. And that's the run. Um, if you continue from where I stopped at, you're not going to get a whole lot more kills, and that's how to get to the last two bosses. So it just takes more time. As you can see, it took right around like four minutes with the minute of waiting. But yeah, um, that, that's essentially the run. It's really quick, really easy. And here we go with the results, guys. It's not amazing, but we did get some BOE blues. Not any of the amazing ones we were seeking, but I'll highlight them real quick. We got the Skeletal Club. It goes for around 5,000. That one's pretty good. We got two Face Smashers. So that one's anywhere from 25 to 50,000 gold. Who really knows? Um, I'll go off the region market value average, about 60,000. And then this one was really, really good. We got a, gui a guillotine axe, which has a market value between like 150 and, and, and 200,000. So this one, this one's awesome. This one I'm really excited for. And uh, yeah, so I would have loved the Shadow Fang and Necrology of the Robe, something like that. But uh, four BOE blues and 30 runs is not too bad, honestly. And then we got uh, some Spellbinder robes. These have a region market value average of right around 1,000 gold. Uh, a couple hundred gold with the Willow robe and Willow branch. So as you can see, the greens, they're, they're, not, they're not great. Uh, this one's about 1.2k. This one's like 600. And then uh, a stylish green shirt pattern for right over 1,000 gold. So as you can see, it's very uh, hit or miss. Um, yeah, <laughs> the greens aren't great. You can get a couple patterns that are good, uh, but you're mainly looking for, for blue items uh, from this dungeon. So if you do want to give this dungeon a try, guys, best of luck. Tell me some results. If you get any good items, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope to see some of you guys at my live stream on Monday, July 25th. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the 30 Runs. And until next time, guys, good luck with your gold making, and bye-bye.